Hello and welcome to the tutorial on negative numbers. In this tutorial we are going to do numbers up to minus 100 and we are going to do numbers before and after. So first let's draw our number line on the right hand side we've got numbers up to 100 this is plus and on the left hand side we've got numbers up to minus 100 now you saw this in the previous tutorial we did so let's have a look at the positive numbers first and we're just going to use simple examples because you know how to do this let's have a quick recap let's suppose you have number 42. We've got number 42. And what we have to do is to work out which number comes after 42. So what number comes after 42? Now after means we are going to the right of the number line. That means going that way. And you simply count forwards. After 42 is, let's try it, it is 43. Now how about if we look at a negative number? Now here suppose we have the number minus 64. Now where do you think minus 64 is on the number line? It's probably somewhere about here. Don't forget, numbers this way are numbers before. And as for this way, it is numbers after. So we've got number minus 64. And what we want to work out is what number comes after minus 64. Let's write this down. After. So the number after six, minus 64 is, we have to go one step this way. So what number comes before that? It is, don't forget, we're starting from minus 1, minus 2, all the way up to minus 100. The number, bef sorry, the number after it is minus 63. It's not 65, it is 63. And have a look at the number line to see how we work that out. Here we have 0, and the numbers go all the way to minus 100. So if we are looking for the number after, we have to go to the right. Minus 63 is over here. 1 over here is minus 65. We have to go in this direction. So the, number, so the answer is minus 63. So we've done the numbers after. How about the number before? So let's do this across here. We want to work out the number before 42. So what number comes before 42? Now we know this. I'm not even going to use the number line because we know this. We just simply count back and the answer is 41. Nice and simple. Now how about we do the same with the negative number. We've got minus 64 and we want to work out the number before minus 64. Now don't forget, the number before means we have to go this way. We've got minus 64, we're going this way, the answer is minus 65. Minus 65. So be very careful with negative numbers. It's very easy, but it's also very easy to make a very silly error and get the answer wrong. Have a practice with the questions and you'll get the hang of it in no time. 